Hey guys, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Ghost Blocking Platform on a Mac machine. Alright, so the first thing that you have to do is visit the Ghost website, which is ghost.org, and then scroll down, head to the developers link, and download Ghost. Alright, so after that, you have to visit this website called node.js.org. So node.js is basically uh, JavaScript engine and Ghost will run on top of the Node.js. So currently they have two versions for it, which is version 6.9.2 and 7.2.1. So you need to download the 6.9.2 because if you read the Ghost documentation, they recommend us to use this one. All right. I'm not going to download this because I have it installed on my machine. And once you guys have downloaded it and installed it. You guys can open your terminal and check it with uh, node.js-v for version, right? So node-v. So currently I have the version 6.9.1, and with when you install node node.js, it will bundle with npm, so which is stand for node packet manager, and you can. Uh, use dash v to see the version. So currently you have version 3.10.8. Alright. So once you have done that, we are ready to install Ghost on our machine. Alright, welcome back guys. So my internet connection is not that good today. So it took me a while. So once you have these uh, files downloaded, extract the file and put it on your desktop. Alright, so once you have it there, double click it to open it and you will see these uh, files. Alright, so we have a few files here. So the next thing that you have to do is to open your terminal or in this case I use item 2. Right, and I'm going to go and cd to my desktop. Alright and open the ghost file so cd ghost right so ls to visit that so once you are there now the thing you have to do is install the ghost platform by running npm install production so we have to use the production flag and the reason to this is that uh, because in the let's see where is it in the packet.json let me open it for a while. So inside here, package.json, we can see that we need this all of this dependency and as well as the dev dependency. But because we are going to install it, we don't really need the dev dependency. So we run the installation with the production flag. Alright, so once you did that, press enter. But before that, I will use sudo to for a system right because sometimes it will give you warning right so I will going to use sudo to install it so will take a while to install it so while waiting for it to finish I'm going to show you one thing that you have to change in the uh, in the configuration so the first thing that you have to do is basically like open this file in your favorite text editor. In this case, I'm going to use Atom and you guys can download it for free. And then the next thing you have to visit the config.example.js and duplicate it. So config.example.js, rename it to config.js, press enter. And here we have inside the configuration, we have the production, right? We have the development and testing right so i'm going to minimize uh, all these three and i'm going to expand the development because we are going to run it on our local machine so this is going to be our url which is localhost on port 2368 all right and we are going to use data uh, sqlite 3 for our database so go support three database which is sqlite 3 mysql and postgresql by default, they are going to use SQL 3, which is uh, pretty much good in my experience. And basically, that's all, right? 
so we are going to use the development version here so now as we can see we have installed all of the dependencies and then the next thing that you have to do is run npm uh, start so let it start and it's creating these tables here so one thing to remember uh, one note which is what I'm trying to say is like just remember that sometimes you will get an error here so if you get an error saying that you need SQLite 3 you guys get you need to install it first so head to uh, npm js dot com npm what is it remember so npm js all right so npm js dot com so you need to visit npm js dot com and search for sqlite tree right and in the first right first result here you need to install npm install sqlite tree so you need to install it first but because maybe like before this video I have tried it out so I don't have to install it so once you have uh, done that you can run again okay, re-run the npm start and then it will create all of these uh, tables right on the SQL tree database and then you can visit the localhost call, uh, localhost colon 2368 so this is the website so before but before that right we need one more thing which is to install our user on this website all right so to do that use uh, you need to visit this website localhost 2368 so that's the port slash goes right. so here you are going to set up your account so create your account your name let me just uh, use goes at ghostdemo.com full name ghost password and block title so ghostdemo right. so invite so if you want to invite your friend just put their email here right so I'm not going to invite them so I will do this later and here it is we are ready to go so it said that ghost is unable to send mail because we are on our development version so it doesn't matter so as we can see here we are on the admin panel guys so if you visit your website again on a new tab so at localhost 2368 you will see the basically the blog right so this is it so I hope you guys uh, understand what I'm trying to say understand what uh, how how the process goes all right so if you like this video and you find it helpful please like this video subscribe it comment it share it to your friend if you don't like this video try to check out my other video and you might like it